Hey makers, it's Charlotte with The Wooden Wick Co. And today I'm gonna teach you how to make an all-purpose home cleaning spray. Making your own home cleaning spray is not intimidating. It's a lot simpler than it sounds and you just need a handful of ingredients. First, I'll start out with my maker's tools. I use these all the time, so I definitely suggest investing in them if you don't already have some. Digital scale. Most everything in making is done by weight, so you definitely wanna have a digital scale handy. My glass pitcher can be used for making so many different products and super easy to clean, so I use this over and over again. Um, I've got a trigger spray bottle. This is what I'm going to put the finished product in today. And then I have my ingredients. So I have an organic sugarcane alcohol. Um, I've got some distilled water. I've got polysorbate 20, and I have a little bit of colloidal silver, as well as my fragrance oil, which I'm using Lux Linens and Verbena Mist. So let's get started. First, you wanna place your scale and your pitcher together, and I'm gonna tear out my scale so that it doesn't take into account the weight of my pitcher. The trigger sprayer that I'm using today has a 16 ounce fill, so I need to create 16 total ounces of product. Um, when you're making these types of products, especially liquid sprays, the order of mixing is important. Most fragrance oils are designed to be oil soluble, and so when you wanna mix them in water-based or alcohol-based products, sometimes you need a solubilizer like polysorbate to help them mix together properly. If they don't mix together properly, you may notice oil beads on the surface of your spray or your product may become cloudy. So that's the first step in the process. So I'm gonna start out with mixing my fragrance oil and the polysorbate 20 together. So first, again, I've got Lux Linens and Verbena Mist, and I'm gonna use 2% fragrance load in this spray, which is about 0.32 ounces. Um, so this bottle is a 0.33 ounce, so I'm gonna go ahead and use pretty much the whole bottle today. So I've added my fragrance oil, and then the next step is going to be to mix my polysorbate. So for the polysorbate, um, the best ratio to start out with is two to one, so two parts polysorbate and one part fragrance oil. However, that can go up and down depending on the fragrance oil and its ingredients and if it needs a little bit more or less solubilizer in order to mix properly. So let's add in just a tiny bit. Luckily, I have a good digital scale. Um, that goes down to two decimal points because when you're making products that have a smaller percentage of fragrance oil, um, like 2%, for example, in this product, you really want to be able to weigh out accurately. So now I'm going to mix together the fragrance oil and polysorbate. You want to mix these thoroughly together so that they're fully combined. The polysorbate is totally clear. It does have a little bit of a thicker viscosity that you'll notice, um, but when you mix it with alcohol, you have a super clear and easy to spray product. So these are looking fully combined, and now I'm ready to add the alcohol. So the alcohol is really gonna be the main ingredient in this spray product. Um, it's going to help to disinfect surfaces and make sure that your home stays super clean. So I've got our organic sugarcane alcohol and I'm going to be using 85% of that um, as a part of my total recipe today, which is 13.6 um, ounces. This is a 16 ounce bottle. So we're looking at almost this entire bottle of product. As long as I don't spill most of it, <laughs> we should be in good shape today. Okay, perfect. You'll notice that the formula is still super clear. That is a good sign that we're using enough polysorbate. And now I'm just gonna continue mixing. I'm gonna mix my alcohol, fragrance, and polysorbate together. Um, using a higher percentage of alcohol, especially with an ethanol alcohol, like our sugarcane alcohol, helps to ensure that it's super effective at killing germs. 
I like to use 85% and then combine it with distilled water so that it dries a little bit slower. If you're using all alcohol, it can dry really quickly on your surfaces and that makes it a little bit less effective at killing germs. So there's actually a, um, you know, a good balance to strive for with the amount of alcohol that you're using. Now I'm gonna add my distilled water. So make sure that you are using distilled water with this product. Um, the alcohol is gonna act as my preservative, so I don't need to add another preservative to this product. And for the water, I'm using 8%, which is about 1.28 ounces. I know I'm gonna spill this, so bear with me. <laughs> yeah, impossible not to. Next time I will get a better carafe. <laughs> okay. Perfect, good enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix this together. You may notice when the water hits the surface of your formula, it can be cloudy for just a second. That's the formula working to solubilize that fragrance oil and your water together. Um, that's the polysorbate working its magic there. Okay. and we'll mix that thoroughly. I just have one more ingredient to add, which is our colloidal silver. So colloidal silver is an awesome enhancement to any spray product. It has antifungal and antibacterial properties, um, and it can help act as a natural preservative as well. Colloidal silver is really just distilled water with microparticles of electrically charged silver in it. And it's used in medical industry and in cleaning products as well. Um, just again, to help with antifungal and antibacterial properties. So now we're gonna pour in the colloidal silver. I'm just using 1% colloidal silver, which is 0.16 ounces. And I'm just really using this as an enhancement and it can be used as a base also. Um, however, I'm using it as an enhancement today. So um, again, the ingredients that I used are alcohol. I used our organic sugarcane alcohol at 85%. I used 2% fragrance, which was our Lux Linens and Verbena Mist, which is a super fresh and beautiful scent that I love to have in my home. It's very clean smelling. Um, and then I used 4% polysorbate to help solubilize the fragrance oil. I also used 8% distilled water and then 1% colloidal silver. So now all that's left to do is pour your product into your spray bottle. And these spray bottles look great with a simple label on them. If you have a steady hand, you can pour it directly from your pitcher or getting a small funnel is a great tool to have around also. And I love this cleaning product because it works great in my home. I know what the ingredients are in it. I know that it's safe for me and for my family. And cleaning products are really, if you're selling product, I think an unsaturated market where there's a lot of opportunity for makers. So there we go. I've got my spray and ready to clean. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Happy making.